Have you broken a piston ring before? Well, you better don't do, because these don't usually come with spares. Okay, so I've been changing piston rings and always, as usual, I'm careful not to break them. But I realize normally when I am using the piston ring expander, I don't depress it to the maximum. That is open up the spring to the maximum, fearing it might break. Okay, so one day after replacing some piston rings for a JCB engine, I thought, okay, why not try it this time around in the piston ring expander tool, depress it fully and see what will happen. So I tried with the old ones. Starting first with the first compression rings. I put it in the piston ring expander and I depress it to the maximum. It opened up but not to the point that it was likely that it will break. Oh, okay, so I was a bit relaxed now concerning how I should treat them the next time I'm doing this job. Then I tried the second compression ring too, this time around also to see what happens to it. I set it in the piston ring plier and depress it to the maximum. Ooh. And it seems the same, it hasn't opened to the point of likely even causing it to break. Then finally, the oil compression ring. This looks tiny and a bit slighter, so I thought, ooh, -hoo, maybe something can happen fully, and it also showed no sign of breaking. So now I'm very cool when it comes to using the piston ring expander tool with them knowing that it cannot break.